much for the kind introduction. Um, like when we speak of global things, I, I, I would like to rather focus on Indian context because uh, when we speak on, we can we keep on speaking on UNCRPD and all those things which has been talked a lot in many forums. So uh, if you look at the global rules which followed the, uh, or uh, in legislation which followed the uh, UNCRPD, our RPWD Act of 2016 actually stands tall. Because even if you look, compare it with the uh, earlier acts, which was uh, which was much, much talked about in, in, in across the world, like ADA, that is Americans with Disabilities Act. Even uh, our uh, even if you compare with many of the acts, our RPWD Act is much more comprehensive and actually comes out with much more uh, futuristic view of uh, inclusion. Uh, when we speak of inclusion, you, we, we actually what happens is that we you should forget the word which or the, forget the definition of inclusion or barriers which is put by the uh, PWD Act. I am going again again, again to the Act because that's the solid context or solid platform on which the country has to work on. So um, as the, uh, the Section 2C of the uh, RPWD Act defines barriers as starting from communicational, uh, then, comes the, uh, uh, then comes the cultural, social, political, e economical, environmental, then comes the structural, uh, the structural issues or structural things which actually hamper the full and effective participation of personal disabilities in the society. This is almost the uh, def definite exact words which was used in the RPWD Act. When we speak of that, our concept of disability or our concept of inclusion or our concept of barriers actually stops at the structural factors. I have seen uh, states coming out, districts coming out with the saying that they are barrier free. What have done? They, what have they done? They have uh, actually put uh, something called uh, the uh, the ramps. And usually, the, uh, why I'm showing something called ramps? Because ramps usually does not follow the pattern, which is I even suspect the ramps of this institution also because the ramps actually uh, uh, should be if in, in order to make it self-propelling. If, uh, if a person has to uh, actually propel himself using the wheelchair, then it should be some th somewhere more. The slope should be uh, one is to fifteen or more. That which means which means that. Uh, one is to fifteen or less because uh, it is, as it's a it's, as it's a kind of a uh, proportion. So uh, then, uh, but many times, even even if we if we think of barrier free, our actual thought uh, stops at that level. Or maybe adding a kind of a uh, in the interpreter uh, during a presentation that actually does not does not end. It only begins there. Because I actually recently I was talking with the Delhi government on making the, on their schools accessible. They are speaking of inclusive education. That again comes under the definition of 2M of the RPWD Act. When inclusive education comes, they think that children we should be able to study in the equal facility of or in the same facility of uh, uh, children with, with, without disability or by what we call as neurotypical children or when it comes to, when it comes to intellectual disability. So, uh, so that. That's the, that's the only part we take. But the second part comes is that the system should be adjusted for them to do that. But that adjustment does not really happen. Just to make a school accessible, perfectly accessible for a child with a hearing disability, it does not just require an interpreter. It requires a whole system. For example, if you are, if uh, if, if someone is having an hearing hearing impairment, you can put something like a, what we call as induction loop system in the classrooms, the 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 the, the alarms, or what we call as the bells. Uh, alarms need to be. Uh, there should be visual representation of that, and anything which comes in the in the screen should be having a closed captioning system. There are at least five other additional things which would make, which would only make a what we call so-called uh, uh, accessible school to a real accessible school for hearing impairment, and that applies for many conditions. That's I just said it as an example. So when we speak of inclusiveness, our inclusiveness in case of barriers of physical barriers is just a starting. It should not be the end of that. So uh, putting that into context, that's I'm saying that more. We have a beautiful system, or beautiful, many many things has been evolved after the RPWD Act, the AIC, which actually uh, Accessible India campaign, which started before the RPWD Act, took a lot of the momentum which gained it gained 
Maybe it's, uh, there are people who say that it has not really uh, gained the momentum it's supposed to gain. But you imagine, in the last five, six years, what has happened in India has never happened before. What, what change has been brought, what discussion has been brought. If you, if you go back to any discussion on any government program five years back, it's very hard to find an interpreter who stands. Now, most of the government programs, not, not just, for, uh, not just uh, for programs of the Social Justice Department or DPWD, other departments are also having interpreters uh, put on, uh, uh, having them on the uh, board while you're actually doing a presentation. So these things are changing. But whether the rate of change of that is enough? No, so that's something which we have, which we have to actually think on and work to accelerate that rate of, pay, rate of uh, and uh, like it's very rare to find a deadline in an act. But our RPWD Act has put that also. When we say 2022 is the deadline given for making our systems accessible or our uh, this uh, facilities accessible, at least government buildings accessible. We are uh, we are reaching the end of that, but still, uh, much we need to be done. That is something which 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 we must think of accelerating our inclusiveness. But still, I am very hopeful that. Ha see, having seen the change which is happening over the years, I am very, uh, very hopeful that this inclusiveness is getting more, more, uh, more discussion, getting more light, getting, getting more uh, like a pace, and it's something which we can be all. Let's even small of the smaller discussions, which even, uh, even uh, like uh, gram sabhas. You, you see, there is. Now, there are panchayats who are actually conducting gram sabhas for person with disabilities. I'm not getting the details of that. As an introduction, I would, uh, I would like to restrict myself here. Let's in a great beginning and let's take it forward. Thank you.